Hey, thanks for stopping by today. Today we're going to talk about something a little bit different. I found some new software that I really enjoy. I've only been using it about a month. And one of the things that I wanted to share today was just some inspiration. I don't know about you, but sometimes I get into a rut where I really have a tough time coming up with uh, new ideas. Client comes in, they want me to come up with something. And sometimes I just need a little bit. I know what I want to do in my head, but I can't get it. You know, I can't get it down in physical form. I've been using what they call MidJourney. It's an uh, artificial intelligence bot on the internet. And I will tell you, I've been using it for about a month and it's absolutely incredible. If you can conceive it in your mind and put it down in a textual description, it will generate it for you. And there's a lot of different formats you can use. I'll go ahead and show you some pictures on some of the things that I've created. And I'm no master by any stretch of the imagination. Like I said, I've only been using it about a month. But I wanted to share you just kind of what it looks like, how it functions, how you can get started. Um, it's free for the first 25 images, I think. And then the, the payment plans are very reasonable. It goes anywhere from $10 a month to $60 a month, depending on what you want to do and how many you want to create. But I thought I'd share just kind of the basics of it today. There is a ton of YouTube videos out there on how to get it started. I'll, I'll put some links in the description on how to get it started. There's lots of really good videos on that. So those videos aren't mine, but I'll go ahead and link them in the description. It's real easy to get set up. And then once you start to play with it, you will be absolutely amazed. One of the things that I'm going to tell you is when you start to, to play with Mind Journey, there are certain things that I've noticed that it doesn't do a real good job on. And some of it is like hands and feet, um, things like that. It doesn't do text well, at least not yet. But man, you can get some, some really nice... Uh, artwork, whether it's black and white or watercolor or full full photo-like stuff. I see this particular uh, software as an aid to, to the sublimation industry, along with the laser, uh, you know, that you can engrave uh, things that you create in, in the laser world. So it's just another tool in your toolbox to go ahead and um, be able to create something completely unique to you. Um, I understand that it's uh, you can use it commercially, so the stuff that you generate is public, but you can use it commercially. Um, if you go for the $60 a month rate, um, all of the things that you create are private and only yours. So it just depends on how much of an aid this is to you. But I will tell you, it's a lot of fun and it's amazing with a simple couple of sentences what you can create from an art perspective. So let's go check it out. Once you have your uh, mid-journey set up and your Discord, Discord server uh, signed into, this is what you're going to uh, look, what it's going to look like. Um, this is the logo for mid-journey right here. And you got to remember that, you know, millions of people are using this at any one given time. And so you will notice that you typically want to stay in one of these newbies channels. This is where you can generate your your creations, shall we say. Um, I would highly recommend you follow the, the links that I have in the description because it will show you how to actually create your own channel. So you don't have to uh, keep scrolling down to find your own artwork. But this is a great uh, source of inf inspiration because you can go ahead and see what people are, are keying in uh, and what they get. And you'll get a sense of what you need to do to get a particular style or look. Lots of videos on uh, you know, what you need to do, different prompts that you can use. I'm not going to go into that uh, just because we could do literally hours of that. Um, but you can see that there is just about every kind of artwork uh, from photorealistic work to logos to black and white simple art, uh, you name it. And so it's one of those deals where the sky's the limit, no doubt about it. And so this is a great place to just go in and check out and see what, you know, what other people are doing and what results they get. Um, and so what I thought I'd do is... <clears throat> We're going to jump over into my channel. I mean, check this out. You know, that's just basically a black and white Frasian horse sketch. 
and this is what Mid Journey gave them. Now, the way Mid Journey works is it's going to give you four options. And once those options are provided, you will have some little buttons down here. And the U means that, hey, I like uh, the way it works is this number one, this is number two, number three, number four. And let's say that there was one that I really liked. I could upscale that based on whether it's one, two, three, or four, and it will give you about a 10 inch by 10 inch uh, rendering of what you've created here. The V1 through three, four is, I kind of like this one, but I want a different version of it. And if you would click um, V3, then it would give you four more options that styled similar to this creation here. And so you can kind of just drill down and refine in what you want. And that's what, uh, what really is a lot of fun. And so I will tell you that it doesn't do text. You're not going to do your logos on something like this. It, it, text is gibberish, uh, so don't even go there. Um, and so a lot of times, too, you'll see like hands and feet. It doesn't do real well. So kind of keep that in mind. Um, but it does some absolutely stunning artwork. And so we'll go ahead and jump into my channel and I'll show you kind of what I asked for, what it created, and just some examples of what Mid Journey is all about. Once you are signed in to your Discord server in Mid Journey, um, there is a link in the description that will show you how to go ahead and create your own channel. And that way you don't have to keep scrolling through to find the artwork that you're generating. And I highly recommend you do that. It gets a lot easier if you do that. So I'm gonna jump over to my channel here. And so this is strictly just my artwork. Um, and the beautiful thing about that is now I'm only looking at the things that I created, not the, you know, the millions of other images that are generated. And so the way Mid Journey works is we've got an image prompt down here. And the way you get, get it started is you, you type in front slash imagine and you click it and it's going to give you a prompt and you type in whatever description that you want mid journey to um, to do and it will you know it takes 30 seconds to a minute to generate this art and uh, at that point it's going to give you four options so what I thought I'd do is I just go through some of the things that I've generated and the artwork that it that you know what I got and kind of what my approach is. This is a very high level overview of, of Mid Journey, um, just to kind of get you thinking. So let's talk about the one of the very first ones I, I put in here: sunflower arrangement in coloring book style with white background. The AR is aspect ratio three to two. You can put in other aspect ratios depending on your profile that you want. And this is what, actually Mid Journey gave me this. And then I said, you know what? I want you to upscale this right here. And so this is what it gave me. And then at that point, you can save it to your photos. You can make uh, variations. Um, there's a lot of different things you can do with it. And so uh, when I click on this, it's gonna give me a larger view and if I wanted to even get larger than that, I can open it in a browser. And this way I can go ahead and, but look at the quality that you get on this black and white art. I mean, you could, you could engrave this with a laser real easy. Um, just uh, bring it over in light burn and go to work on it. So that's some black and white. And you notice that all I did is typed in this right here. That's all I provided. Here I went a close up of a small gray and white bunny with a fluffy fur smelling a brightly colored butterfly with a smile. And this is what it gave me. Now, based on my description, I thought this was pretty darn good, right? And so at this point, I think what I wanted to do is I said, you know, here's a, I said, let me just re-render it. So this button right here basically says, hey, hey, Mid Journey, try again. Wasn't necessarily what I was looking for. And it will do something different. And it gives you this. And at that point, I can say, okay, I liked this one here. I think it's this one right here. So I said, upscale 
number four, remember, one, two, three, four, upscale number four, and then it gave me this, and this is a much larger uh, scale. So I could go ahead and look at it and uh, open it in browser. I could save as, but you can see the quality that you get right quick. Pretty fluffy um, butterfly. You've got to kind of pay attention to that stuff. It's going to throw things in there that you may not want. Um, something very unusual. A heart-shaped outline filled with vibrant red detailed red roses in the middle of the heart. An older couple embracing with love. 8K means I want high resolution. And this is what it gave me. Pretty cool. Again, it's one of those deals where um, just depends on what you're looking for. For literally 30 seconds to a minute worth of creation, it's pretty incredible, that's for sure. Come down here a little bit further. Here's some, um, some black and white art. Uh, let's go down to one, this one here. So a tree trunk from which branches emerge from the right hand side. There's children in a swing descending from one of the large branches. DXF, SVG, art line, line art. And this is what it gave me. Now, if I wanted to refine that, I could certainly change some of this description. I will tell you that if you misspelled any words, like right here, I put in SVC and not SVG, you will get something completely different. So be careful there. Um, check your spelling. Here was a bright yellow softball on fire, 8K, hyper-realistic. And this is what it gave me. Pretty cool stuff. Okay, I just said, hey, I kind of like this one. Give me another, you know, rendition of that. Actually, I believe it was this one right here that I said, give me a version of this. And this is what it gave me. I kept drilling down and got some pretty usable graphics. Some dogs. You'll notice that um, you know I asked for ducks in this background, and they don't look much like ducks. So you're just going to have to kind of think about that and see what it works, what it doesn't. But once you get rid of the ducks, I mean, pretty incredible art for sure. Come down here. We go to a, a beagle puppy with bright, wide open eyes, cartoon style, and this is what it gave me. I selected this one here to uh, up render, and this is what it gave me. Then let's talk a little bit about uh, photorealistic stuff. So uh, I had a good friend of mine that who's got a 72 Chevy C10 and he wanted it on a runway. I typed that in and this is what it gave me. He wanted a plane in the background and sure enough, it gave me a plane in the background. And again, we just kept refining and refining and refining until, look at this one. I mean, that's some pretty incredible art right there. And this is the one that he settled on. Here's a El Camino in a cityscape, white. Again, uh, you know, whatever you describe, you're going to get some rendition. One of the things I will tell you that you got to be careful on is sometimes it's not going to be as accurate as it can be. Um, it'll add an extra headlight when you know that they're not supposed to have uh, four headlights. They're only supposed to have two. So scrutinize your artwork a little bit because it's going to be, it's AI. It's not, you know, it's not real. But look at some of the uh, craziness that this thing will generate. And that was basically just a 1972 El Camino, white in color with two black stripes on the hood, located in, on wet asphalt, very uh, distant city profile behind the car, black and white sky, 8K, photorealistic, very detailed, vivid colors, and here's my aspect ratio. Now you notice it didn't like that aspect ratio because it gave it to me square. Here's some butterflies. The wife wanted a butterfly that had uh, a swallowtail butterfly colored dark purple, teal, and hot pink. And these were the four that it gave me. Then we started to drill down a little bit, 
that's what we ended up with. I mean, that's incredible. And some more versions. And then we then I wanted roses in the background, fantasy, and this is what we settled on. Fantasy Beagle Pup in Mom's Arms. That's what I typed. This is what Mid Journey gave me. This one was the one that we decided on. And this is the upscale. So you get the idea. The other thing that I will tell you is it, it, it once you kind of get the feel for some black and white art, you can you can create some pretty cool vectors um, where they're going to be basically black and white. You'll have to trace them in Lightburn, but um, you know you got this wolf, and basically all I ask for wolf head vector logo, simple black and white Adobe Illustrator, and um, I gave asked it to give me some some different variations. Excuse me, and this is what it came up with. Rose Vector logo, simple, black and white, gave me that. Here's another uh, yellow lab pup chewing on a decoy in front of the roaring fireplace, 8K. There's no decoy in sight, but it did uh, give you some pretty cool renditions, and this is what I ended up with. So you get the idea. It does some awesome uh, watercolor art. So this is cute little girl sitting by a tree holding an Easter basket with uh, watercolor. And you can see that pretty crazy. I kept refining it down and this is what I ended up with. Anyway, I just wanted to stir your mind a little bit. If you have a chance, check out Mid, uh, Mid Journey. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's, it's free at first for the first 25 images that you create, I believe. I'm on the $30 plan. It pretty much is going to give me an unlimited amount of, of creations uh, for what it provides me. That's cheap in my mind. Check it out. If you like the content, I'd sure appreciate a thumbs up. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do so. It really helps me out. And if you have the ability, go ahead and hit that thanks button and contribute to the channel. It's those contributions that makes this stuff uh, available. Thanks and have a great day.